Welcome to the Alien Health Game, a nutritional exercise game that's been designed to use the Kinect sensor as an input device. This is a collaborative exercise game designed also to instruct in key nutritional content and add critical minutes of cardiovascular activity to the increasingly sedentary day of our school children. The two main goals in the game are instruction on nutritious food choices and adding fun cardiovascular exercises to a child's day. It's also very collaborative and can be played with a partner. In the game, they make fast, forced choice decisions about which food to feed an alien that they found under their bed. Players practice these rapid food choices and then perform short exercises to help the alien metabolize the food. Let's go through the three main levels of the game. The narrative here is that you've awoken to find an alien under your bed. He's hungry, but you two cannot communicate. You need to feed him healthy choices so that he can stay awake and alert and make sure that the speeding asteroid heading towards Earth doesn't hit it. This is called a forced choice task when you have two items you have to choose from. In level one, students are practicing making rapid choices between food items that they might see in their everyday lives. We want them to make choices based on the nutrients in the food. Students' attention should be drawn to the constellation of nutrients and optimizers below each food item. There are five nutrients and optimizers. There's protein, carbohydrates, fiber, fats, vitamins, and minerals. When the alien is fed the item that is the least healthy of the two, he begins to droop and get tired looking. Students will not naturally attend to the colored bars below the foods displaying the constellation of nutrients and optimizers. So in order to draw their attention to those bars, we have created a level with non-foods. These non-foods are based on the well-regarded non-word reading tasks. The backstory is that you found these food tubes in the alien's backpack and you don't know which one will make him feel better. Students must now analyze the nutrient bar graphs and discourse with their partner player before making a choice. Finally, we wanted to give students some exposure to the new USDA MyPlate icon. This has replaced MyPyramid. We've created an interactive simulation and each food item is represented as a serving that fills the MyPlate quadrants up dynamically. Up to six items can be placed on the cafeteria tray. Your job is to build a balanced lunch for the alien. So the players decided it was time for the alien to eat and they hit the eat button at the top of the screen. Now you have to help him metabolize again each of these foods so all six will be metabolized as you exercise. And at the end, fun fireworks will show the end of the session.